concept is the same. So we'll demonstrate here. Okay. The opponent is coming in probably with some sort of overhead attack, right? As they come in, the parry is made here as I step through, walking by and creating that. We'll do it on the other side here. Here. Boom. Now I, that, I just kind of scooted forward. I'll show you how it looks all the way through. Boom. Boom. Okay. Go to this side. Here. There. Okay. Now the idea is, is of course, if you move back to like the, the there, if we're running at each other, right, that's essentially what's going to happen in a battlefield is we're probably going to get maybe one strike in on each other as we come by. And I'm hoping to get that parry off so that as we run by, we're going to be doing this. Now, of course, this brings us to the other little, uh, we can throw this in here. The other question that's often uh, brought up is why bring it behind the back? Now, let's say he comes in with the strike, go slow and I step around to the back, he ju he's just gonna bring his sword back behind it. And then there's a parry as, as we go by, right? So you, I'll, I'll strike at you, you parry, and then come to the strike. So here, no, yeah, okay. Boom, boom, right to there. Let's do it where we can maybe see it a little bit better. Okay, so you come in. Okay. Boom, boom, just like that. Okay. In the first trajectory of the Shicho, and if you look at the, the Shicho Dulan, it pretty much always advances. There's not a lot of going backward. There's, I don't believe there's any steps backward. There is a little bit of a shift backward at some point, but it's all very barreling through, all right? Now, also because of that, we talk about developing a 360 degree awareness of what's going on, and that is one of the reasons why we will bring the, the sword behind our back, right? So that if I come in like this and he carries that, I know that there is probably a strike coming to my back, at least I'm vulnerable there, right? So at the very, at the very least, I'm just gonna throw it back there. He'll do the same thing, if he comes in, right, right, and I come in like that, because that's obviously the strike that's just about to come towards me, right? So again, boom, boom. Let me try to do it toward the camera from this side. Let's do it this way. Okay. Here we go. Move a little bit more. There we go. Okay. Boom, boom. You see? And then we can face off to each other once we pass, but obviously the idea being lots of chaos, you know, kind of going over. Now, of course, don't try any of this without gear, right? So there you go. So we'll have a look at some of the examples. It'll be me and Tony versus Brendan, who is uh, much younger much smaller, much weaker, much less experienced, and yet you'll see that he's able to successfully fight us off. <laughs> <laughs>